So remember whenever I um, told you boys and people's siblings that whenever my body hair started coming in and my hair started coming in, I feel like my voice went deeper, that um, I was going to regret doing all of the things to get my hair to come in. So um, anybody else's hair? Eyebrows connecting with the hairline, like that becoming a thing, like my eyebrows starting to peep out over here, like up here and stuff, like my beard starting to come up up here. I told y'all, like for real dog, like for reals. I have not used this in about three or four days. I've used it maybe once, once in the past week. Once in the past week, I've been using this. I've been using King Butter Love. I've been using this still. And I've been using this. Nothing else, nothing else. And it's coming in full force. And I've been doing my shots, obviously, like, two times. And, like, I've been getting ingrown hair city because my hairs are so thick and my skin is so sensitive. And, like, it's so sensitive. Like, I bought three of these beard serum things because it was, like, my beard, my hair was not coming in. I got this and then I went ahead and got this. And got this. Thankfully, none of this was like over $50. And I had this from when I had locks. And I've barely, barely used this because it started to break me out again. But like, and I've not even used this hardly any at all. Like since then, like I've, I've pretty much wanted to put up all of my products because like I haven't used any of it. Like... This hasn't been used in a minute and a half. Like, I should probably still keep using it if I want to, like, continue growing, like, my stuff out. Like, to continue growing, like, make it grow faster. I should probably keep using it, I know. But, like, it's growing super, super fast. Like, all of it's growing fast. And I'm just, I'm just sitting here going, okay, I see you there. Like, I'm becoming hairier around in here. Like, chest hairs are popping up everywhere. Like, and this is only my second shot. Second shot. So, told y'all in those younger videos that I was going to regret this shit. And... being slightly dramatic but I might have regretted it and my father is a very hairy fucker and my grandmother was not hairy but I never knew her brother and from what I've understood uh his name was Rudy and he was very hairy and I take after her so I'm only assuming that I'm going to take after him. Like, look at this. Like, on my arms. Like, my arms are, like, super, super hairy already. Like, very hairy. And they're dark. Like, the hairs are dark. So, like, I can only even imagine what the rest of it's going to be like. Real talk. I just had to get that out there and get the video out there. Because, like, I'm not bitching. I'm not complaining. Because, like, <sighs> I knew it. And honestly, like, real talk. I found this whenever I was shopping for alcohol, like rubbing alcohol to sanitize stuff. And um, I've been washing my beard with it in the shower. I don't know what little beard I have. So like, real talk, this, it was like, I think eight to $10. I don't remember exactly now. And not tested on animals and has all natural products in it. Like literally. 
you can pretty much pronounce everything that's in it. See? And, like, really good products. And it has, like, everything that your beard actually needs to grow. And um, every time I take a shower, it's got aloe, camilla, green tea in it. And it's got everything for your beard to keep growing. And so I just stopped washing with this and just started using this I shower every other day because um showering every day is really bad for my uh, skin and I have sensitive skin and so I just wash my beard with this I wash my face with this and because I'm still like that and then I wash my beard with this and then I go all right I just wanted to TED talk you and or J talk you whatever love you all be safe um the world what the world needs now is love and i'm not trying to quote anybody but um just love a trans woman please and let them know that you're there for them we need to love and uplift each other and stop tearing each other down we need to let everybody know that we are here for them um it's not us against it's not us against somebody else we really really need to be there for each other and to just stick up for each other and um we have too many people fighting each other too many people going against each other and we really just need to be one and november is coming up and it's a scary scary month and it's a scary scary time and we just need to collect each other and hold each other close and love each other and uplift each other. And I know it's scary and I know it's a difficult time, but if we could just love each other and care for each other and not pick on each other and find the weaknesses in each other, we could just all be better people. That's all I have to say, and if you have anything to go against that, you can unfollow, um, you can block, I don't care, I'm gonna block anybody that has anything negative to say, because I don't want that in my feed. Um, I love you all, and I wish you all all the love and the happiness and the positivity that you can have. Um, that's all I have for you. Um, peace and love.